Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Technical Test Analyst. Today we are looking forward <coughs> to the sample questions of chapter one. We have covered just a small topic that is risk-based testing which is covered under chapter one and in this tutorial we are getting ahead with the sample questions on this chapter. First of all, the number of questions and the question pattern which will be expected from chapter one is uh, we will have two questions at K2 level and uh, that will be from the basic topic. One is of course the responsibilities of the technical test analyst and second is from the risk-based testing. To start with, the very first question what we have here is to talk about the role, of respons role and responsibility of technical test analyst. But yes, it's really important for you to understand that when it comes to advanced version of certifications, they may have more than four options for any questions and they may ask you to pick more than one option for your right answer. Very critical point when it comes to more than one option to be selected for the right answer is that even if you have one option selected as wrong, the total answer is considered as wrong. So for an example, if you are asked to select three options and out of three which you selected, two are right and one is wrong then you get zero for that question. The best thing is you do not get negative marks, be thankful to that. But yes, in order to give you the full marks for that particular question, you have to be right in complete manner. So that's the reason they do not entertain partial scoring for any question if you are partially right. So you have to be more stronger in order to get that through. So the very first question here we have is which of the following are generic risk factor that should be considered by the technical test analyst. Now, we have to recall the responsibility and role profile of technical test analyst here and understand what is that he or she would be involved with. A large number of defects found with the reliability of the software. Uh, we do remember reliability is one of the non-functional parameter, thus it falls under the code of testing te technical test analyst. B, technology factors such as complexity and availability of tools. This is a common criteria or common parameter which should be you know, covered by both test analyst as well as technical test analyst. So it is really, really, really important that this should not be clubbed worried about that. Okay, test analyst is the one who is taking care of it. So technical test analyst should not worry about it. No, it is concerned for both of them. No matter functional or non-functional features, it is a common parameter that complexity of the code as well as the availability of tools to support that is responsibility of both of them. So I think we got the right answer here itself that is A and B as we were supposed to select two options but do not be overconfident. Sometimes the other options can ruin your happiness. So please give a look to all other options before you can be sure about the right answer. So see availability of the documentation for legacy system to be used to verify the accuracy. Um, when it comes to that, uh, the accuracy of the computation is a concern of test analyst. Specifically, when it comes to accuracy, it is a basic functional testing which is covered during unit testing. So uh, test analysts will be more responsible for these kind of activities, whereas technical test analyst is more on the quality characteristics to enhance the functional features. C, budgetary restriction on the project. I think the test manager will be responsible because when it comes to budget, test manager is the one who should take necessary actions regarding the same or decisions. E, high rates of, uh, high change rates of business use cases. Again, when it comes to high, high change of uh, Business use cases, it will affect functionality testing because core functional features will be impacted by that and more driven for test analyst, non-technical test analyst. So the right answer here is A and B, which is a large number of defects found with the reliability of the software and B, technology factors such as complexity and availability of the tools. Moving up to the next question here, um, it's again a simple one, but yes, uh, this is just the chapter one. When participating in a risk analysis, the technical test analyst is expected to work closely with which of the following set of people? Yeah, when, when it comes to technical test analyst, non-functional parameters, 
quality characteristics requires a lot of technical understanding and have to work closely with the one who are creating that code and of course that will be uh, developers who will be actually adding a lot of value to you uh, to increase your you know understanding on the code being written so that the quality characteristics when it comes to probably performance testing security testing recovery testing configuration compatibility any such thing reliability interoperability portability this all requires a core understanding of what exactly is the code written whether it will be compatible to do that whether two tools can actually exchange data even if you talk about integration of third party software all these things will be addressed so thus we need to work closely with the developers when it comes to a users uh, i think everyone actually look forward to that but it's not specific for a technical test analyst to uh, closely work with the end users business analyst anyways you are cooperating but not specific for the technical test analyst because a uh, functional team will be taking care of that project sponsors um, it's not another one where you know when you say it's technical test analyst is not the one who actually directly interacts with the product sponsors yes you do for your queries on the requirements you do interact with everyone but not closely when you say closely that means most of your time of working is actually spent together with these people and that is what you need to address so if you see all of them we actually interact but not most of the time we spent with them so the right answer here is d developers who will be actually doing the close work to determine the quality characteristics thus technical test analyst should be working closely with them so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning